Hey guys, welcome back to Baronsis Math Club. Today's topic is order of operations. Now before I get started, I just want to say that order of operations is a pretty good combination of all the four basic operations that we use in our everyday math. So those are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These four operations, we use them in any sort of math problem that we want to do. So the order of operations is you have expressions and you're going to use the all these four operations to solve them. So let's say we have a problem such as 9 plus 6 times 4 minus 2. Okay, that's a pretty big problem, right? So if you were to present this to someone maybe let's say in fourth grade who have not been exposed to the topic of order of operations, they'd probably go like, okay, 9 plus 6 is 15 times 4 minus 2, I know 15 times 4 equals 60, minus 2, and my answer is 58. Well, guess what? That is not the right way to do it. This would be wrong. The, the real way is to use the order of operations. So what you have to do is, we're going to list the order of operations here. So first is division. So in any expression, you have to use division first. Second, you do multiplication. So, there. Third, you do addition. And last but not least, your fourth basic operation is subtraction. Now, I know these are some basic things that you probably learn in like first or second grade, but these are used in our everyday lives. So, order of operations is based on these four operations. So now, the first operation that you're, you're going to use is division. But if you see here, it, this problem does not have division. That, so uh, not all expressions will have all four operations, but most likely they will. But in this operation, we, don't, we do not have anything that has to do with division. So we're going to cross that out and move on to multiplication. So as you can see, we have 6 times 4. What we're going to do is we're going to solve 6 times 4, which equals 24, and then bring the 9 plus and the minus 2 down, straight down. So that becomes 9 plus 24 minus 2. So it was just simplified to 9 plus 24 minus 2. So multiplication is done. Third is addition. So as you can see, we have 9 plus 24. So if we were to do 24 and plus 9, we know that 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry the 1, that equals 3. That means the sum of 24 plus 9 equals 33. So what we're going to do is going to simplify 9 plus 24 to 33 and then bring down the minus 2. So now we have 33 minus 2. And we know that 33 minus 2 is 3 minus 2 is 1 and the 3. So that means the difference of 33 minus 2 is equal to 31. And 31 is the solution to 9 plus 6 times 4 minus 2. Now, at the beginning, as you can see, this is a very big um, expression because it has all of these numbers and signs and might be a little confusing. But if you just practice some, you know, expressions and just follow these order of operations, it can be really easy. So we will have more um, topics coming up for algebra unit. And we also have another algebraic unit, like, separately that we'll be working on. But this is some basic algebra that you learn in fifth grade. So we'll have more topics coming up, and we hope you keep on watching these videos. And we'll see you guys next time.